Sometimes I try to think of goofy intro bits before the fancy intro that goes and I can't think of anything. So, uh, this is where that's supposed to go. Then I say bean talk. Bean talk. Hey guys, welcome to Bean Talk, the show where I talk to myself and give it to you to watch. Um, because people enjoy that for some reason. Intranet. Nerdiness. What the world portrays as having a lisp, tucking in your shirt, um, wearing glasses, and, um, you know, playing Dungeons and Dragons, and Yu-Gi-Oh, and lots of Magic the Gathering. That's not what I see nerd as. I see nerd as someone who's obsessed with something has passionate feelings towards some sort of thing, whether that's sports, or the internet, or Pokemon, I don't even know. But the point is, it's about something you love and care for passionately, an interest you're really interested in. When you're nerdy, it doesn't mean that, you know, you have a list been tucked in and I'm not making fun of those people. Those people are great. I love hanging out with the stereotypical nerd because they're so just self-confident and can strut around and be whoever they want without having to feel like, you know, people judging them. Nerds aren't afraid. Well, most nerds. The real nerds. Huh? aren't afraid of being out there and proclaiming their nerdiness to the world and how they have all Harry Potter books and have read them three times. Uh, <laughs> right down there. Nerds should all proclaim themselves to the world. Whether you're a Sports Illustrated nerd who sits and reads Sports Illustrated all the time or you play video games and that's all you do with your life, or you read Game of Thrones, or you play football, or soccer, or basketball, and, or lacrosse, and you're just obsessed with that interest, and it's great. Nerdiness is good. It's great. I don't see why people make fun of other people, because they just love to show their interest to the world. With Gangster, I comment on what I do so much, it's great. <laughs> nerds are nerds, and it's wonderful. And if you're a bully, and you make fun of nerds, just don't, because it's terribly rude and makes people sad and makes them not want to follow that passionate interest. For instance, I'm a YouTube nerd. I sit and I talk to this dinky little iPod and I talk to myself and I put it on the internet and I'm obsessed with it and I watch other people do that and I watch people play games on the internet and I watch people talk about stuff on the internet. I'm an internet nerd, not just a YouTube nerd, an internet nerd. I like funny pictures all the time. I basically have no friends. Other videos I talked about how I pay for my friends. Five bucks a month. Ben does stuff for, for friends. Dot or gov net. Nerdiness is not something that should be made fun of. Nerdiness is goodness. Nerdiness is greatness. It's proclaiming your love for something to the world. Whether that be Sports Illustrated magazines, the Bible, freaking the Harry Potter series, Plasma screen TVs, is that even on frame? Nah, uh, it's not. Uh, things I'm directing my thoughts to, and when your hands are out of frame and you can look at it, I am so ADD right now, dear goodness gracious. It's so late. Um, nerdiness is one of those things where you shouldn't be ashamed of it. You should proclaim your nerdiness to the nations, because that's what a true nerd does. A true nerd doesn't hide himself away in his closet and play video games all the time and never tell anyone. Yes, they hide themselves away in a closet and play video games, but they proclaim it to the nations, and they're like, I'm a nerd! I just bought GTA V and waited at midnight for it, and I bought all the exclusive pre-order packs already, and I've been the game. Beating it. Those are the kind of people I love, the people that proclaim their nerdiness to the world and don't care, the people who are self-confident enough to sit and just be like, I'm a nerd, look at me, love me. 
and then they get made fun of, which really kind of makes me angry because they have the confidence and the endurance and the courageousness, that's not a word, to just tell everyone how they feel about this certain thing, the certain passion, the certain freaking amazingness in their brain, for lack of better words, that are flowing through my brain right now, because I can't talk sometimes. Nerdiness is not a thing to be ashamed of. You shouldn't hide in a corner and be ashamed and insecure about your nerdiness. You should just let it let it roam free through a prairie to be shot at by bully hunters that are bullies. And you shouldn't care what they think because you should just be so self-confident about everything. The moral of this video is to be confident and not be, you know, un unconfident. I guess. Just, if you're a nerd out there, whether that be sports nerd or other things nerd or Game of Thrones nerd or fantasy novel nerd or video game nerd or foot nerd. Can I get my foot on frame? Ugh, yeah, I think I did. I don't even know. The point is, if you're a nerd or have any obsession with anything or you feel insecure about something, let it roam free. Let it be what it is because you can't change yourself. You can't change your interests. You can't change what you want to do with your life. You can't change your flaws and your personality. Just let yourself be you. And don't let other people tear you down. Champ, proud of you. Now, do good at your baseball game. Goodbye. Awkwardest outro ever. See ya. I better be off camera right now.